the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. As we gather this morning to celebrate God's love, the priest's intention for this Mass this morning is for Jerry Harlan. So we place ourselves in God's presence, and we ask for the graces with his mercy and his forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners Christ have mercy. And you plead for us like the right hand of the Father, and intercede for us, Lord have mercy. And Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Our reading this morning is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale and put them at the feet of the apostles and they were distributed to each according to need. Boss Joseph, also named by the apostle Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriton by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. A word of the Lord. A response to our psalm this morning is, the Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed, robed as the Lord and girt about with strength. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from above, from everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, the length of days. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. <clears throat> My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills. You hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are a teacher of Israel. And you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you, 
We speak of what we know and we testify to what we have seen. But you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how, you, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. We continue today with an experience with Nicodemus, a leader and a teacher of Israel. And Nicodemus doesn't seem to grasp fully, as I was saying yesterday, to what Jesus is trying to teach. But Jesus is very patient, very patient with Nicodemus. Just as Jesus is patient with each and every one of us. Those of us who call out to listen to him. Yes, he's asking us to be attentive, to be attentive to the signs, to the signs of the times. Yes, the Lord would be encouraging each and every one of us to listen at this particular time to what is important so what is important for each and every one of us? It is in that silence, in that listening, where we come to fully understand our role that the Lord is placing on our hearts. Yes, Nicodemus was wondering if he could be put back into the womb and born again. And that's what the, the Lord is saying. The Lord is saying, accept my spirit. Accept my spirit. The spirit of me who continues to live. But where does he live? He lives in you. He lives in us. And that is the spirit of the living God, which we celebrate each day. Through, through the Eucharist, the Lord, the Lord hears and the Lord nourishes his people. And so today, we pray for clearly listening skills, that we hear the Lord in the winds, calling on each and every one of us to carry on our task, carry on the task that he's assigned each and every one of us, and bringing that task back to his glory on our last day. May God be blessed. And so let us take a moment in prayer, lifting up all our needs, in particular the needs which we hold in the silence of our hearts, that the Lord will hear and grant the request. Heavenly Father, these are our prayers which we place before you this day. We ask you to grant them if they be your will. We pray this, and we pray all things in Jesus' name. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. Come for us, the bread of life. The 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of your hands, become our spiritual drink. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all this holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that Renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. My friends, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to proclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome a paschal joy, every land. Every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by saving down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered brutally into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in the reading. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Frank, our Bishop, 
and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. And we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by the Word of God, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, from every evil. And graciously, and peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I leave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously, in his peace and unity, according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer to each other a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, the one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Let us take a moment now to pray our own spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are really present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you to come into my soul. Though I cannot now receive you sacramentally, please come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you and I myself wholly to you. Amen. And let us pray. Hear 
Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring us help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for the canonization of Father Rison. Lord Jesus, you have told us, ask and you shall receive. We address our prayer to you through the intercession of your priest, Louis Rison, attentive to the signs of the times and obedience to your will be found of the double family of the Oblate Sisters and the Oblates of St. Francis de Sales. Confident in your providence and joyful at hope, he knew as a good father how to make himself all things to all people. Grant us, through his intercession, the favors which we ask of you especially. Church, rejoice and glorify this priest after your own heart, who gave himself totally to your love. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Amen. Mighty God, bless each and every one of us today and always as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks. Let's all have a beautiful day, everybody. God bless.